I'm speaking to you now from streetcar number 1666 of the Pittsburgh Railways Company. I'd like for you at this time to meet Mr. Siegel Mack, who is one of the instructors. Uh, Mr. Mack, uh, tell me about uh, the, the training of a streetcar uh, operator. Well, I, uh, first of all, the uh, student, the prospective student, uh, reports to the uh, city office of Pittsburgh Railway, where he is interviewed. And if he passes that interview satisfactory, he is sent to the doctors where he uh, receives a medical examination. From our city office, he is sent out to uh, meet our uh, Mr. Jacobs, who is our uh, superintendent of our instruction department. There he is interviewed again, and he is also giving an eye examination and uh, a reactionary test. Then uh, the first day is uh, spent going over various types of equipment in the uh, Craft Avenue uh, car house yards. And the second day, uh, we take them out to, we have a practice track out in Castle Shannon. That's where we are right now. Yeah, that's, this is <laughs> Castle Shannon, right here. And uh, you're going to uh, teach me how to do this, so uh, I guess the best thing to do is to do it, isn't it? <laughs> well, that, that, that would be the best thing to do, yes, sir. Now, you just uh, sit around there, put your left foot on this dead man control here, uh -huh. and your right foot you place on the uh, brake pedal. Now, you must release both of them at the same time. You engage your dead man, you release your brake, and put your right foot over in the power pedal. And down, and away we go. And away we <laughs> go, right. Now, engage the power pedal a little more. That's the way. Now break it down, use the brake, just gradually. Now in safety, I think uh, we're coming onto a switch. There's something. That's right. You coast, coast, always coast over this, that particular switch and always operate over a switch with your car under control at all times so as to be able to stop short of the switch point in case the switch fails to operate. All right, now we're going around a curve here. Pick it up a little more. Break it down a little now on the brake. Can't afford to go around these corners too fast. You know, your trolley pulls liable to hop. You don't want to get out in this rainy weather and put this trolley pull on. Check your left. Make sure there's nothing coming. And you have a clear road right down the floor with your power pedal. Move it out. We're approaching an electric switch now. You make up your mind which way you want to go. Do you want to go straight or you want to go to the right? Okay, you've made up your mind, you drift through the switch. By drifting through, that means I'm going straight. That means you're going straight if ahead. If I had yes, wanted sir. to uh, change it, what would I have done? You have uh, used the track switch, or you to push the track switch up. Now pick your power pedal up again, go right down the floor, pick it up. Now ring your bell now. Right down the floor. All right, we're approaching another switch. We want to go to the right. Operate your car slowly. Pick it up now. Now we're going into a pretty steep curve. Going here, pretty aren't we? steep curve. Take it slowly now. So make sure the trolley don't jump off the wire. We don't want to have to be getting out there and rewiring this trolley. Let's take it easy now. Now pick it up. We're into the curve. After you clear this, you can resume speed. You can resume your safe speed after you've cleared this curve, yes, sir. Now pick it up right down, down the floor. Now down around this, between the second, first and second pole here, let's try to make a service stop. And we'll open the doors, we'll simulate where we have a load on here, and we're going to let some passengers off. Release wow. your brake. Release your brake. Now you're on the brake. Up on the dead end. There we go. That's it. Now, pull this. That's your center door. Push doors. that up. The center doors have opened. We always like to have you make an announcement when you open the center doors. You say, please watch the center doors. Make I, sure nobody is standing in the door well. Or I guess you could have uh, a lot of. Uh, injuries on those doors if they oh, weren't operated yes, properly. Oh, yes, it is 
very possible to have injuries. That's why we like to have the operators make an announcement to please watch the center doors. And then if I want to open the front door, same thing here. So push the button, that's right, you open the front door. Never leave your hand on the buttons. After you open the door, you take your hands away from the buttons because sometimes you may have a defective switch in there and uh, have a tendency to, for the door to uh, close. And you never know, you may get somebody cut in the doors. You make it sound awfully easy. <laughs> well, there are it's, a lot of things you have to watch, aren't there? There's an awful lot of things you have to watch uh, in operating a streetcar. Uh, now, uh, one of the main things you must remember that the streetcar is, there's not too much you can do to avoid an accident, but uh, stop. You cannot go to the left, you cannot go to the right. You're on fixed rails. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mack. Our time is up. Uh, let's see now where the magic carpet will take us next.